Monoflex BRS system, 825 through 1200 section widths. Example tire used in this video is a 295-80R-225. Components. Control panel MX101. Heat pad BRS126H. Airbag BRS167A. Housing BRS. BRS126PP. BRS Airline MVS5001112. Utilizing over 40 years experience, the Monoflex system has been developed to be hard wearing, efficient and as simple to use as possible. Location of the worksite should be chosen so that the tyre and Monoflex equipment are close enough to the control panel to prevent strain on either the electrical or air connections. Rotate the tyre so that the repair area is positioned centrally at the bottom. Liberally cover both sides of the heat pad and pressure pad with tyre talc to reduce friction in use. Clear any excess talc from the surface of the pad. Fold the BRS167A airbag in half and pass the straps over the front and rear legs of the housing. Locate the valve through the hole in the frame, place the rubber and metal washers on the valve stem and screw the valve nut down finger tight to hold in place. Using a spanner, connect the black air hose to the valve. Loosen the valve nut back up to the air hose to allow free movement of the covers beneath the metal frame. Before use, it's recommended that the heat pads are preheated to approximately 50 degrees centigrade or 122 degrees Fahrenheit to increase flexibility and aid installation on the tyre. Connect the BRS126H heat pad to the control panel power lead. To preheat, power up the control panel and rotate the timer to one hour. The temperature display will illuminate and show the current temperature of the heat pad. Wait for it to reach just over 50 degrees centigrade. Rotate the timer back to zero to stop heating. With the labels facing up, take the BRS126H, fold it in half and push up inside the housing assembly. The heat pad should be central with the control lead exiting on the front side of the housing. Position the pressure pad centrally over the repair. Take the whole BRS assembly and slide the opening over the bead area. The heat pad should be positioned centrally over the repair. Connect the airline to the incoming air and use the black regulator knob to adjust the pressure on the gauge to 45 psi. When set correctly, lock off by pushing the regulator knob down to click. Prior to final inflation, check that all leads and electrical connections are securely connected and nothing is trapped behind the system. Commence inflation of the BRS167A by connecting the airbag hose to the airline. The airbag will rapidly come up to operating pressure. The heat pad and airbag should closely follow the contour of the bead. To begin the cure process, rotate the timer to begin heating the SRS288H heat pad and when approximately 130 degrees centigrade is achieved, rotate the timer to the desired curing time. The panel will now begin to count down. The temperature will continue to rise to 140 degrees centigrade. When the timer has counted down to zero, the curing cycle is complete and the power to the heat pad will be shut down. Exhaust the air from the airbag by disconnecting the air hose from the airline. Disconnect the BRS126H heat pad. Lift the whole assembly off the tyre, leaving it ready for the next repair. Points to remember. Always thoroughly dust both sides of the heat pad and pressure pad with talc before use. Do not lift the heat pad by the lead. Ensure heat pad is installed in the correct orientation. Do not leave the equipment unattended. The power supply must be disconnected at the end of the working day.